I want to talk about number 36 in your homework for a few minutes. This problem describes an imaginary scenario in which you start with an empty barrel and then what you have that you start putting in the barrel are all these ping pong balls. So imagine that you have a ping pong ball for every natural number. Now this is going to feel like, I don't know, lottery balls. Each ball will have a unique number painted on it. There's only one ball with a 1 on it. There's a ball with a 2 on it. There's a ball with a 3 on it. There's a ball with a 500 on it. Okay, so you have all these ping pong balls. You also have a stopwatch, and you have exactly 60 seconds. Here's a diagram of 60 seconds, okay? We're going to go from left to right. Now, here's what happens. In the first 30 seconds, we're going to do a process, step one. We're going to do the process once. And then in half the time remaining, that means from 30 to 45, we're going to do the process again. And then in half the time remaining, from 45 to 52.5, we're going to do the process again. And in half the time remaining, to 56.25, we're going to do the process again. And this continues. And I want to point out that there is no end to how many times we can cut the amount of time we have left in half. Okay? So, step one um, to understanding this problem is there are infinitely many steps that I'm about to describe. What is each step? Step one is you dump 10 ping pong balls into the barrel and then you pull out ping pong ball number one. Then in the next 15 seconds, you're gonna dump 100 ping pong balls in the barrel and you're gonna pull out another one. You're gonna pull out ping pong ball number two. In this 7.5 second interval, you're gonna dump 1,000 balls in the barrel and then you're gonna pull out one. And then you're gonna dump in 10,000 and you're gonna pull out one. And then you're gonna dump in 100,000 and pull out one. So it just keeps going. So with every little step that occurs, and the, the length of that step is going to be decreasing, but there's going to be more and more balls in the barrel, right? I mean, at the 30 second mark, balls number 2 through 10 are in the barrel. That's 9. At 45 seconds, we put in 100 and we pull out 1. That means the balls with 3 painted on it through 110 are all in the barrel. At 52.5, balls number 4 through 1,110 are all in the barrel. So that's 1,106, 1,106 tennis balls, 1,107, I don't know. It's a lot. At 56.75, there's well over 11,000 uh, ping pong balls in there. So you just get more and more and more. But here's the trippy part. What happens at t equals 60? Are there any ping pong balls left in the barrel when we literally hit t equals 60? Here's a secret. You think there's infinitely many balls in that barrel, maybe. Okay, fine. Name one. Give me a ping pong ball number that's still in the barrel after this process is completed. I say every ball comes out eventually. I say that ball number 10 comes out after 10 turns, and that's with only 0 .059 seconds left on the clock. Ball number 10 is going to be pulled out of this barrel. Ball 100 comes out after 100 turns, and I don't even know how small that amount of time is, but I looked it up on the internet. 4.73 times 10 to the negative 29 seconds left, you're going to pull out the 100th ball. I said there was no limit to the number of times that you could subdivide the time you have left. And that means every single ball comes out eventually. So I'll leave it to you to make the conclusion and write it up. How many ping pong balls are in the barrel after 60 seconds?